Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Today's flavor is again the vanilla nut ticino. I have a little chocolate and raspberry syrup in there today. And it's only going to be 43. It's cold and rainy and it's been down into the 30s at night, but we haven't had a frost. So the whole rest of the week is going to be rainy pretty much, but it is going to warm up a little bit towards the beginning of next week. But again, cloudy. So typical spring weather here in Ohio. Ohio has a lot of cloudy days. So that's why a solar system wouldn't be good. We, especially in the winter, we have so many cloudy days, I don't even know if it would charge up. So, I don't know. Well, <coughs> excuse me. We'll have to wait and see what the summer brings. Because we do have a lot of sun, sunshine in the summer. But in the winter and spring, not so much. Usually our falls here are pretty nice. And that's why fall has become my favorite season used to be summer, but now it gets too hot for me. I don't like the heat and I don't like the cold, so I have a Goldilocks zone. So needless to say, there won't be any gardening going on. It's just too mushy out there. And um, I have to do some cleaning up in the house, which is always the case. So let's put a little bit of cream in the coffee. Not too much since it's already sweetened. I think that should do it. So how's the weather over in your neck of the woods? I know some of you live in California. It's already getting hot out there. But that wouldn't be for me. I don't know if I could do Florida either. Although I like Florida. It's a nice state. I've been there. I've never been as far west as California. The furthest west that I've ever been is the Grand Canyon. I went on a trip with my parents when I was you know, 15 or 16 to the Grand Canyon and we, we went by car and that was a really nice trip. One of my favorite places out that way was the Painted Desert. That was really beautiful. Bryce Canyon was nice. It looked like the, um, the stones and the rocks there were illuminated, if I remember correctly. They were really pretty. The Grand Canyon, I liked it, but after a while, after you stop at so many of the, um, I don't know what you call them, the overlooks, um, it kind of got to be a little monotonous. I remember that, but I was a kid. I might have a different perspective now as an adult. But it was a nice trip. And Florida, I've been to a few times, and uh, I, I like Florida. It, it's a nice, a nice state. So anyway, I'm here in Ohio, and I'll probably stay in Ohio. My family's here. My mom's here, of course. And to uproot her and move her somewhere south would just not work too well, in my opinion. So let's give this coffee a taste. Cheers. Yep, that's good. Well, yesterday, my Timu order arrived. So this is a sponsored video by Timu. I'm going to be going through all the things that I got for free. They don't pay me, but they paid me in free merchandise, which I thought was really nice. So I'm hoping I love everything, and I probably will at least like it a lot since I picked it out. And from what I've heard from other people, it... Uh, it's mostly quality merchandise, so we'll see. We'll open up the boxes and 
maybe I'll have a chance to try some of the things out. So that's what I'm going to be doing today as well. All right, I will meet you at the budget book in just a little bit, and we'll go over that the beginning of May. All right, it's budget book time, starting off a brand new month. Let's see what this month brings. I thought I was going to have to buy a new water filter for my refrigerator, but I had the foresight to order an extra, so I don't need to do that now. But pretty soon I will need to order two more, but I'm not going to do that today. So today is Monday, or Tuesday, and I did not spend any money on Monday. So starting off to a good beginning of May, and uh, it's going to be garden season. We talked about this already. And I'm going to be spending a little money on some things, so we'll see. I'm going to try to rein it in, but eh, it's an Achilles heel for me, so I'll do my best. I don't want to get so many flowers that <clears throat> I find it hard to take care of. But I do want to get flowers to attract the pollinators. So with a lot of my little city picker boxes, I'll also be planting a few flowers in with that. So I haven't started a whole lot of flowers indoors. That's kind of new to me. So maybe next year I'm going to try more of the winter sowing with the uh, flowers. Especially the, the perennials, I think, do very well with that. I'm not sure about the tender annuals. Those I m might have to continue to buy. But I'm trying to keep my gardening costs as low as possible and still continue and enjoy that uh, the gardening experience. So, all right. I'm going to go get my Tamu box. Timu? No. Yeah, Timu. Uh, too much Timu and Ticino, and <laughs> it's getting all mixed up. But And we'll go through and see what I got, because I don't remember exactly what I ordered. So, okay, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, well, this arrived yesterday, and it's a big, huge, heavy box. <laughs> it's big. So it's full of goodies. So I'm going to unpack this, and we'll see what all is in here. Okay, let's unpack this bad boy. <laughs> of course. I know. I'm going to unpack most of this without all the crinkle paper, but I just wanted to show you what this is. Okay. Let's see here how this goes. So this... It's on a wine bottle. <laughs> How cute is that? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, he can keep me company while I do this. All right, I'm going to pull out some of these. And then I'll open them off camera so it's not so noisy. These are stick-on stick um, hooks. So I got those. I tried to get things that were useful to me, not just stuff. All right, I got these. Um, these are sealing bags for food. You know, for freezers. Um, This is, I forget what this is. Oh, this is a paper towel holder. But 
paper towels. This is a sieve, a real fine sieve. You know how I always make yogurt. I got that for that so I don't have to use paper towels. These are wash balls that you stick in your washer to assist with cleaning your laundry. Um, okay, this is a pair of scissors, kitchen shears with a peeler. These are fairy lights that you can use for a remote, different colors. And this is for oil, to oil your um, pans when you're cooking and it's squeeze bottle. So I thought that was useful. Another pack of hooks. Wooden spoon. Very nice. And these are USB fairy lights. Great, and the rest is in boxes. So I'm going to take this all out and show it to you a little better um, without all the crinkly paper noise going on. <laughs> I love this guy. He's so cute. Okay, so I took all the crinkly plastic off of here. This guy's going to keep me company. All right, so first of all, there's this little oil bottle. And I'll put the prices on the screen here. I have to look them up, but it's very soft um, so that you can squeeze it. It's silicone and you can oil your pan. That way you can control the amount of oil you put on your pan a little better. So that's very nice. I like that. Um, then I got this paper towel holder and I'll show you where I'm going to put that because my paper towels have been sort of floating all over the kitchen since I got the microwave back there. I used to keep them there. But it's got this stick-on stuff and then I think this kind of Hopefully I can do this. I may have to have my grandson do it since I don't have any strength in my hands. But it sort of snaps in. No, I can do it. So it snaps in and then it mounts on whatever surface you want it to mount on. So I'm going to show you where I'm going to put that in a little bit. So I think that'll work fine, hopefully. Then I got all these, I got two packs of these stick-on. I have some um, little vases hanging on my window, actually on the window, and they fall off, so I'm hoping these will work a little better since they're bigger. But again, it's got the stick-on, and this moves. So I got two packs of those, because I can always use those. And then this is the mesh. And it's real fine mesh, so this will be great for making my Greek yogurt. Um, you can see there's no holes in it. So this will work much better than the paper towel. So I'm excited to try this out next time I make yogurt. And then, like I said, the food storage bags. I think they're 9 inch or 10 inch. So, and I have um, a food saver. I'm hoping that works in there. So that seems very nice. Now the dryer balls I didn't, or the washer balls I didn't take out. But next time I do laundry, 
I'll give those a try. Because we all like clean laundry. And then um, this is a USB fairy light. And it's 32.8 feet. And it's 100 lights. And I want to put these up on my macrame hanging things. I had Christmas lights out there, but half of them burned out. So I want to put these up there because I really enjoyed the Christmas lights there. So I'll put either one, this one or that one. I'm not sure. It doesn't say how long this one is. I'm sure it does on, on the website. but So one of these two is going to be going there. All right, and then let me clear this. Oh, then there's this, and it stands up on your counter, and it's kitchen shears, and then this is a peeler. So I'm hoping this peeler is nice and sharp. I don't have any potatoes right now to peel, um, but I think that'll be nice, and it keeps the kitchen shears handy. And it also has this little thing that you can open small um, lids with. Not, not real big lids, but like small ones, bottles. So that's nice. Seems like a nice quality. And then I got this spoon for cooking. I love the color. And it's uh, lightweight. Mm. It's lightweight, so that'll be nice for stirring uh, food, because you know I like to cook. So there we go. Now, I got a bunch of boxes of stuff, too, but let me clear this off, and I'll be back. Okay. Next, I got this. Uh, it's a little chopper. And it comes with a little USB charger. Looks very nice. And like I said, I have to look up th these prices, so I'll post the prices. Oh, it seems like it's a very nice quality. I don't know, the proof is in using it, so I have to charge it up. But it's small, which is really nice because, especially as a single person, you know, you're always um, chopping up little things. And it's got two, three sets of blades, which is nice. So I'm sure it's easy to clean. And then, I think I'm going to really like that. So I got that, very useful. Next I got, <laughs> you know I'm always chopping things, so, and I love my kitchen gadgets, so here we go. I got a lot of gadgets. So this is a electric hand held cooking stick, food chopper. It's another type of food chopper. So let's unpack this. It's got like a little pusher and it's got a blade. This would be great for salad. It's got a little brush to clean out whatever it is you need to clean out. And it's also rechargeable. It's got a USB cable. It's got a nice heavy quality. It doesn't feel like it's cheap. And again, it's got like a little charging port there. got a little cup but I think you can also 
attach this blade and use that. So I think that's how, oh, no, that goes with this. So you can either have the little cup attached with the blade, or you can attach this with this, and it locks in, and then you can put your food in here with the little pusher, we're learning as I go, and then it'll shoot out the bottom. So that's pretty nifty. I like that a lot. So, okay, another gadget. And it's not real big. That's what I like about it. You can get it out and, you know, use it and then put it back. And it seems like it's easy to clean. It just all comes apart. So I think I'm going to like that. Let's see, what else did we get? This is like Christmas. <laughs> A gadget Christmas. All right, let's see. Oh, this also has a little plug that you can plug this up. So let's see what else we got. No idea what this is. Um, I ordered it, but let's look. So, so far, um, I think the products are quality. I have to try them out to see if they work well, like if the knives are sharp enough and if the, um, like the peeler is sharp enough. Oh, okay, good. All right, so I ordered this vacuum sealer because it's nice and small. The one I have is kind of big, and what happens is because it's big and I have it in the cupboard over there, I tend not to use it because it's too hard to get out. So I got this vacuum sealer, ergo the bags. I forgot I ordered this, but I'm glad I did. So it's a nice small one, and it's a plug-in. So, let's see, and I guess it closes with these, try to open this, there we go, and it's got some directions in there, and it looks like it's pretty simple, which is nice, I like simple, and it comes with directions, and then it closes up. Like this and it's nice and neat I like it and it also comes with some small bags so awesome that will get used all right let's see what else um, I have no idea what this is either Lots of tape on this order, which is good. It was very well packed. Okay, let's give this a look. Oh, this is nice. I've been wanting a set of these. What I have, uh, my kitchen utensils, is kind of a mishmush, but this is really nice. So let me unpack this without making all this noise. Okay, so I don't like unpacking all that plastic. It's just too noisy. All right, well, this is very nice. So this is a whole set of wooden cooking utensils. And you have this big spatula. Very nice. I love the color. You have this spatula stirrer thing. 
That's nice. It comes with a nice spoon for cooking. It comes with a ladle. And this spoon with a hole for getting like broccoli and things out of water. Another very nice spoon. And then it comes with a rice paddle. So this is very nice and it's nice quality too. I, I'm really surprised. This is so far it's all been very nice quality. So this is going to be nice. I can get rid of some of my old ugly stuff and just it'll look nicer and it'll be nice to cook with. Okay, let's see what else we got. The company was that sponsored me was very generous in what I could pick out. Um, the order came to about $200, and I did not buy any of this. Now, on my um, on the website, I do have a bunch of stuff in my cart, but I didn't want to, oops, boxes. I didn't want to buy anything until I got this to see what the quality is. So I will go ahead and purchase some more things that I found useful. All right, this is a bag sealer, and it's also, sorry about the noise, it's also a USB charge thing, so if you open, and it's got a magnet too, which is nice. Uh, if you open a bag of, let's say, potato chips or whatever, you can reseal it with this, so it keeps your food fresh. So that's very nice. It's got this little thing here on the side. Oh, it's got a little bag opener on the side. So that's very nice. And I guess this is the, the button. Yeah, this is the button. So, okay. I think that'll be very useful. So you can recharge it. And then I got this again for oil. This sprayer. Now this is the only color they had available was the silver. This also came, oh this is nice heavy quality. This also came in I think a rose gold and a, either black or gold. But this is what they had, so this is what I got, and that's fine. It's a nice glass, and it's for oil. So one of these um, oil things I'll put olive oil in, and the other one I'll put maybe an avocado oil for heavier heat, or higher heat. But this has a lot of nice weight to it. It's very nice. Okay, but wait, there's more. I have to make some room here. I'll be right back. Okay, back to it. <clears throat> I got another chopper, but this is this kind. I have a chopper. It's when you push down. It's like a square one, but I never did like it. It's really hard for me to use with my hands the way they are, but... I think this one will be nice, and I think this is also a mandolin. So let's give it a look. Oh, that looks nice. I'll have to say, I was a little skeptical <clears throat> for the prices that they have. But so far, everything that I've gotten here is, is extremely nice quality. And... I wouldn't say that if it wasn't. I, you know, I just I don't do that. So it comes with a pusher. So that's nice. Save your fingers. 
and it looks like it'll be nice because it's got these big spikes and then it comes with all these different attachments an egg separator that's nice Oh, sorry, I gotta make some noise. Okay, it has all these different nice little container and all these different, um, these different things for the mandolin. Sir, I don't know. I'd have to try all these out and see how they work. But I think they'll be just fine because it's a nice, heavy quality. So that's nice. And then it has two different sizes of the uh, dicer blades and a little clean out thing for this and it's got a basket I mean if you like to cook I think this is very useful and it's got this little drainer basket and just also one of these and then it has it has this so that's really nice And then, of course, you put your put your different thing here. This is the chopper part. Push down. So that's nice. Okay, very good. That's awesome. And then I think you can store everything inside here. sure how it stores but you get the idea so I think that's lovely I think that's very very nice and it comes of course with your instructions and it seems like it's really good quality so rather than having a separate mandolin and chopper it's all in one I think I need a little coffee break here that's a lot of stuff. But like I said, I tried to get everything that I thought might be useful for me and not just stuff that I won't use. <clears throat> so there's more. Okay, we're getting towards the end of it now. Oh, this, I was looking forward to this. And I might just make some little dinner for myself in this. Another kitchen gadget, of course. So we have a lid and a steamer basket, and this is also a plug-in. So what you can do, it's a rice cooker. And it, the thing I liked about it is it's small. 
so it won't take up a lot of real estate. So it's got two settings, one and two. Now that does not come out, so it's all one unit. And I would imagine you can't dunk it, but it's got a non-stick coating in there. And then what's nice about it is it has this steamer basket. So let's say you're making your rice. You can put your broccoli in the steamer basket and you can steam that at the same time or whatever veggie or whatever you're you know you need to steam so I thought that was really nice that you could make two things at once because usually when you're making rice you make veggies with it too so I think this is going to be very useful for me so there we go all right, let's see what else. A couple more things, and then that's it. And I have no idea what this is. So let's take a look. Oh. <laughs> yes, folks. <laughs> It's another chopper, but this one's different. This one does different things. There is a method to my madness. Chopping is not one of my favorite things, so any anything I can get to help me in that process. <clears throat> so this one... of here. Remember the old time choppers that your mom used to have? <clears throat> Where um, you used to have this little barrel in, inside of it. Well that's what this is. And it's got a handle. somehow attaches and it also secures the drum in place. I don't know, I have to figure this out. There, it locks in place. So you can do your cutting. Now what this does, it's more like a grater instead of a, a chopper. That's why I got this. And everything, of course, comes out here. And it comes with these different slicer and grater plates. So this actually does do something different than the other one. So I think these slide in here. Yes. So let me undo that. Take this out. And then these plates come in and out. They slide in and out. So you can decide what it is you want to do. And then it comes with Two slicer blades and this one looks like it's a finer grater and then it's got this grater so two of these go in here one two slide those in and this is what I think I will like about this. It's, it's simple. So you put your, your um, chosen blade in. Okay, you have 
have to unscrew this so you all right and then you tighten this up okay I have to play with this a little bit like I, I just unboxed this so there we go so that's very nice and it's got a lock thing here and an unlock and it's got a suction cup down here so that you can stick it on to whatever surface it is you, you want. And it's nice because you can store these inside of here. And it also comes with a little cleaning brush. So I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of that. And it's called Vegetable Cutter. Awesome. And I kind of picked this green because it's a nice color they you know it doesn't come like in a hundred different shades so I kind of stuck to the green okay last item so as you can see I ordered a lot of kitchen gadgets it's what I like if they would have had gardening things I would have ordered gardening things but they do have gardening things they even had um, lights, grow lights and things. So um, I will order from them again. I mean, it is very nice quality. So I tried to get things that are useful to me. I didn't need any clothes. They have clothes and shoes and you name it, they have it. They're almost like a, like an Amazon kind of thing. All right, let's see what this is. My gnome is still hanging in there. I <laughs> think he is so cute. He'd be great for Christmas time if you want to give wine to somebody. Um, you can just, instead of wrapping it, you can just do that. Oh, oh, this is really nice. Okay. Make some room here. Hang on, my camera is taking a little trip south. Not good. Okay, sorry, camera malfunction. So this is the last thing that I got, and this is this is a soy milk maker. Wow, that's really nice. It's really got some weight. You can do soy milk puree. You can boil water. It cleans. You can make kanji juice, all kinds of things. And I think this was the most expensive thing that I got, but even that was not expensive. I mean, you could pay a whole lot more on, you know, somewhere else. So this is nice, and it's nice and compact. It doesn't look like it, but it's not huge. So, and it's got a nice viewing window here. It is a plug-in. It's got another one of those little cleaning brushes. That's nice. A little measuring cup. And it's got some, uh, it's got a blade down there. So, of course, I'd have to read directions on how to use this, but this is very nice. So, you can make your own soy milk. I don't know if you can make nut milk in here, but like I said, I, I have to read the directions. It comes with, with directions. So, okay. That was my big, huge Timu haul. Um, yeah, I'm very impressed with this. So you can watch what's going on in here. That'd be interesting to see. It's like a blender. Very heavy weight. It, it's, not, it's not a lightweight machine. 
So, all right, let me see. Maybe I'll cook dinner using some of these things. That would be good. But I want to thank Tamu. Tamu. That's like Shamu. Timu. I want to thank Timu for sending me all these things to review. And so far, I, I think things are nice. Okay, well, I will be back later, and, oh, I wanted to tell you, too, um, remind you, well, tell you, that there is a special code where you'll receive 30% um, off on your first order. It's free shipping, free returns. It does take 10 days to 2 weeks to arrive. It's not like uh, where, you know, Amazon will uh, deliver overnight, but it's well worth the wait. So anyway, um, I'll leave that code down below in the description box. And I'll also try to link some of these products down there. Now I'm not real, you guys know, I'm not real good about doing things in the description box, but I'll, I'll give that a go. This is going to, this video is going to take me all day. All right, so I'll be back and... All right, I want to try out this soy milk maker. And it says you can make juice. Well, I already discovered it won't do anything until you put the lid on. So you have to have the lid on for it to function. And then it has a menu button here, so I'm going to put it to juice. And I imagine you could use this to make smoothies. I put in some grapes that I got from my flash food haul that were really way too soft to eat anymore. But I figured I'd give those a try. So I'm going to go to, to the menu and to the juice function. And I have no idea how loud this is going to be, so I'm going to turn it on, and we'll see what happens. So I imagine this isn't the best thing to make juice from because it has peels on the grapes. But it's what I had, so I thought I'd try it, and it said it takes three minutes, so I'll be back. Okay, so what it does, it grinds, then it stops, lets the whatever is in there go to the bottom, and then it does it again, and it does that about three or four times, so now apparently it's done, and... It's holding. So here's what we have. And of course, you know, with it being grapes, you have a little bit of uh, the peel of the grape in there. But I'm going to pour this into a glass and see what, it, what it's like. All right, let's see what this is like. Now, I put water in with it because it says to add water. So I don't know if this will be sweet enough or I have no idea. But like I said, you know, it does have, it's not like a pressed grape juice, but let me give it a taste. It's not bad. You know, it's, it's not like real sweet, but they said you can put honey or whatever you want in with it. So if you have fruit that's kind of soft and going bad, you can make a fruit juice. Now here it's got levels of water to put in. They're kind of hard to see, but it's in mLs. So I just use the minimum amount. The max is here. So I think I would sweeten this, but it's drinkable. So it works fine for the juice, but I think it would work better as a smoothie maker. I think it would work real well for that. But um, 
Yeah, so I think this will be good. I don't need any soy milk right now, so I'm not going to make any of that. Um, I might make some congee at some point. I've never had congee, but I'd like to try it. I hear it's good. This will also boil water um, and it purees. So there you go. That's how that works. So, okay, I'll be back. I would give this a thumbs up. Okay, I just wanted to do a little update. So I made the rest of the grapes. I had another handful. And this time I added a little less water and I added some sweetener and some Tarani syrup to it. Well, something in there caused it to foam up. So I wouldn't recommend adding a whole lot to whatever fruit you put in there until it's done and adding it at the end because the first batch did not do that. So it kind of overflowed because it got so foamy. So it was either the Torani or the uh, sweetener that uh, caused it to do that. So I would recommend adding your sweetener or whatever it is you want to add at the end. So, okay, that's my review on, on this product. All right, next I have kind of a makeshift paper towel holder here. So I want to put the other paper towel holder up here. And I'm hoping that it's not too small of an area. So this is uh, what I have going there now. And this is what the paper towel holder looks like. So I have to peel this backing off and stick it on there. And I can't do that with one hand. So I'll be back once I get it put up. Okay, so here it is. This moves and I have it just stuck to this. I think this would work better if I didn't have this up here, but I do use this, so I'm going to leave that where it is. So I don't think this would work real well with a huge fat roll of paper towels, but I think what I have is a double roll, and um, I think it'll work fine. Now, I don't know how long it's going to stay up there. We'll have to see, but I'm going to go ahead and put the paper towels up. Okay, so here we go. Let's see how it rolls. Yeah, it rolls just fine. So I think that'll work as long as it, the adhesive holds. It's better than what I had. So okay, that's how that works. Okay, next I want to try out this little rice cooker. It's also, you can use it as a hot pot apparently. The directions it comes with are not real good, so kind of have to explore. I have here some nut chicken broth. Um, I'm going to put a couple teaspoons in here. I have a cup of rice in here. Some garlic powder, some onion powder, uh, about a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. Gives it a nice little bit of a cheesy flavor. And um, now I need to put in a couple cups of water. Now this has two cooking levels. I imagine one is a little hotter than the other. It doesn't say in the directions what temperature to cook your rice at, so I'm going to have to guess. So we got two cups of water, one cup of rice. Give that a little stir. And then what I want to do is try steaming some broccoli on top. I don't know how that's going to work out, but we'll find out. So I'm going to put my little steamer basket on here and add some frozen broccoli. Enough for a couple meals. Okay, that 
that should be good. And then I'm going to add some salt and pepper to the broccoli. And I'm going to turn it on. I'll see how it does on setting number one. And I have no idea, it doesn't say how long to cook it or anything, so the directions need a little improvement. And here's what we have, off one and two. So I don't know, I suppose I could go online and take a look, see if they have any recipes for this. It's a wolf domain, that's what it's called. So I'll do that. I'm going to go ahead and put it on one. And the little indicator light is on. So we'll see. I'm going to go see if I can see, find any more directions. All right, I'll be back when this is all done. Okay, well, let's see how our rice cooker did. I just turned it off. Okay, first up is the broccoli. Ooh, that looks nice. Let's see. Oh, it's perfect. It's not burned on the bottom. Not all stuck together. Wow, that did an awesome job. And this is just long grain rice, that's all. I'll give it a taste. Mmm. It's perfect. Let me try the broccoli. Mmm. That's really good too. Not mushy. Not too crunchy. I have to do a little more research and see what else can be made with this. But I think this is another thumbs up. Okay. So there is dinner. I'll probably make some, I don't know, I have some chicken, not chicken tenders. I have some fish, not fish fillets, whatever I want to make with it. All right. Okay, so my overall impression of Timu is um, they have very good prices. I think the, the products I got were good quality. Um, they have a lot of coupons that they offer. Sometimes they have flash sales. Uh, some things are up to 90% off. Um, they also accept all major credit cards, uh, debit cards, electronic payments, pay later. I guess that's Klarna and Afterpay. So I'm going to add the code again and um, if you use the code when you shop you'll get an extra 30 percent off you can return products uh, free 90-day return policy and also free shipping so all in all I think it's a good deal um, I would buy things from them um, definitely um, so that's my overall review. Okay, so that was my Timu adventure, Adventures in Timu Land, and my review of some of the products that I got. Um, my favorite. <laughs> but I like all the products, I honestly do, so. But anyway, um, Again, I'll leave the uh, prices on the screen, and hopefully I can find what the prices are because the prices do change. Um, 
and I'll leave the code here. If you have any interest at all in purchasing any of these products, if they caught your interest. But personally, my personal review is the products that they sent me are very nice quality and what I tested did a nice job. So um, you'll get 30% off your first order and also um, free shipping and free returns. So, all right, my friends, I have to get busy and put all these prices on this video. So, for now, that's all I have for you. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you. And I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.